Yes, sir. Dr. Franklin says you're one of the honest ones. I'd like to think so. Miss James, let's get out of here. Those lights are sure going to change everything around here. Hi, Doc. Deliver any today? Well, it's not the middle of the night yet. 5,000 before you retire. That's my bet. <laughs> well, you better get married and start churning some out on your own. They're going to need some good men to light those lamps. <laughs> Jobs like that don't go to street rats. Put in a good word for you. See a Mr. Stanton down at the mayor's office. Thanks, Doc. Now turn the knob a quarter turn, and when you hear a hiss, touch the flame to the mantle. Oh, and keep your head to the side just in case. Charred lungs is a nasty way to die. Delivery, ma'am. I think this is next month's cover. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Next month's cover. Oh. Yes. What do you think? Too French for me. You have a good eye, Ruby. No, I'm, I'm just the lamplighter. What? The lamplighter man. I like these new gas lights. Oh. Well, you don't have to do it right outside my window. Kind of have to go where the lights are, ma'am. Don't talk back to me, you street rat. Hey, Henry. James. I'll be back in a minute, Pa. My aunt sent me another book. <laughs> another Thomas More. Look at this one. Alone in crowds to wander on? <laughs> Listen to this. Though fairer forms around us throng, their smiles to others all belong. That's me right there, yes sir. More's got me figured out. <laughs> You're gonna find a girl, Henry. I don't know. Hey, Jane. Those lamps of yours are putting a big dent in our business. Maybe you should find a new business. What are you saying? I'm saying we all make choices, brother. I didn't have any choices. I didn't choose when our mama and daddy died. I didn't choose when I was thrown in a slum house. I grew up in that orphanage too, you know. But I made the decision I was going to be somebody. That I was going to make something out of myself. You don't have to be a crook. You're just too lazy to try anything else. I bet two bits on Alec. I'll take that bet.
Is this fresh? Uh, 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 I, I haven't seen you before. I'm Miss, I'm Miss Fremont's new maid. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I have to light the lamp now. Okay, well, do it and get away from my window. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to say how much I enjoy your magazine. It's a woman's magazine. I read it to some of the girls down on the street. The travel logs and such. So little girls on the street read my magazine? Wait, you know who I am? <laughs> You're about the richest woman in the city. Everyone knows who you are. Well, I suppose that could be a compliment. But I'm more interested in readers who can do something to change this godforsaken city. Yes, ma'am. The frozen river is mute. The flowers dried down to the root. And why, since these be changed since May, shouldest thou change less than they? How dare you! Using Browning against me! All right, all right, all right, boys. That's my rule, so I'm just gonna take it. Wait, no, don't do that, man! Hey, 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 hey. If you can't play fair in marbles, how will you ever play fair in life? Wait, Tom has made the shot. Well, Tom, better take your marble. Play square, and others will play square with you. Evening, ma'am. It's a warm one tonight. It is. Wait. I have something to say. I've decided that you will help me learn about life on the streets. Well, if I'm going to help make changes, I must know what needs changing. Yes, ma'am. What exactly did you want to know? Well, for starters, where do these children that you play with live? The streets have always been dangerous, but that doesn't mean all people are bad. But many of today's lamplighters used to carry torches for travelers on the streets and often led them into traps. Some, but not all. Well, what about you? I mean, how did you... I made a choice, ma'am. So what's... Your... My story? It starts out very sad. But I'm determined it will end very happy. You're very different. Everyone's different, ma'am. You can't judge a soul based on where life has stuck it. Until the sun finally slipped behind the plains of Serengeti. My husband and the bearers continued. Good afternoon, James. Afternoon, ma'am. What? She knows your name? Sure. We're good friends. Bears continually fed the campfire dead branches from the many yellow fever trees. But the roars of the lion roar seem to get closer at each moment. I'm not scared of lions. Good for you. Yeah, this is all I have. I'm not to share. What about you? Oh, I don't need any candy. None of us slept a wink, instead keeping a close watch on the surrounding darkness. Our backs to the fire. <laughs> And? Did she? Nope. She just huffed and walked away. <laughs> <sighs> Shouldn't you be making the rounds or something? Yeah, I should. What about you? I see your light on up here half the night. The life of a magazine publisher. I spend more nights on this couch than I do my own bed. Well, you should get some rest. 
We've got an important job to do. I think you've got the important job. Let's put up. I'll so miss him. We all will, ma'am. He was a very special boy. Man. Ah, oh, sweet. Be free to praise and go. For if my face is turned too pale, it was my oath that first did fail. It was my love proved false and frail. Why, since these be changed and now, should I change less than thou? Thank you.